So the business value of IoT uh, looks simple at first, but it's a little more interesting than just the cost savings. So there's three levels, really. Um, the business value of IoT, at first, of course, it can help you save money. Um, but you can apply it to a higher level to create differentiation with your customer. Um, and you can even get all the way to transformation, reimagining the value proposition, the business model. Now let's walk through those three levels of um, efficiency, differentiation, and transformation, and apply them to a product company and uh, operations in a company. So for a product company, um, cost savings sometimes is an element of w uh, how IoT improves your product, but it's often a small element. Much more interesting is differentiation, being able to, for example, uh, design a coffee maker that is more consistently makes a perfect cup of coffee every time or automates it so that it detects when you get out of bed and automatically makes the coffee and you walk it into the kitchen and it's already there. Um, and that you know, creates this nice, sticky, engaged relationship with your customer, um, whether it's preventive maintenance on a forklift or better coffee. But the real opportunity is transformation um, for product companies, and that is the ability to reimagine um, selling coffee beans or coffee makers to, in effect, coffee as a service. So that um, if I sort of commit to 10 or 20 cups of coffee a month minimum, uh, I get this experience, but I pay per cup of coffee and I don't buy the coffee maker. And the company takes care of the monitors and takes care of the machine and replaces it when necessary. And I'm just buying cups of coffee. So that's really a transformative experience um, that's possible for product companies. Uh, so for a product company, think from the beginning to the potential downstream, but know that you're gonna iterate every uh, life cycle of the product as you reimagine it. So there's this learning loop. Now for operations uh, companies where their thing is, how do I use the assets to run my business better? They rightly focus on cost savings. And that's where you hear a lot in industrial IoT. Very important. However, what I see a lot of people short-sightedly do is build a narrow business case just on the cost savings and capture all the savings, but not invest it in greater potential. So what I tell our clients is lift your eyes up, do some blue sky imagining, look downstream all the way to your customer and ask yourself, how can I add some IoT capabilities that will let me differentiate or even explore transformation beyond just saving money so that I'm investing that up front instead of, in effect, having to go back through this cycle and have wasted uh, money uh, the first time around or missed out on the potential. Um, so the example here um, would be the ability to improve your operation to offer more product choice, faster delivery, more consistent delivery times, um, or even to reimagine, say, the entire uh, rental car experience or the retail store experience by thinking deeply about how you operate. Now, sure, if you're a primary production company running a mine, it may be harder to work up the value chain, but absolutely go through the exercise. So whether you're a product company or whether you're doing operations using IoT, think about these three levels of business value. The first being operation, uh, sorry, cost savings and efficiency. The second one, the potential for differentiation. And the third one being the potential for transformation.